What is the point of waiting? We wait five minutes and 17 seconds for the coffee to be done downstairs. We wait for someone to answer a phone call or an email. We wait for those beautiful Amazon packages to finally arrive at our doorstep. Why is waiting woven throughout the different experiences of our day. It cannot just be a matter of routine. We do other routine things in our day. We eat, we sleep, we walk, which all seem to have some purpose. But what is the purpose of waiting? Looking at today's gospel, I start to feel this warm, fuzzy feeling inside of me when Jesus says, a little while and you will no longer see me, and again a little while later and you will see me. Jesus makes us a promise that he will not leave us for very long. Then, as quickly as my achy, breaky heart feels the warmth of consolation, Jesus says, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. Wait, what? Why, Jesus? Why do we have to weep, mourn, and grieve while we are waiting? Can we not be joyful in waiting? Even on the happiest of days, when a bridegroom is waiting for his bride, he is anxious. Why is waiting so hard when it seems to be such a core experience of our daily lives? My dear brothers, I may not know every aspect of why we wait, but I know who we are ultimately waiting for. We are called to wait because it is in waiting that we reconnect and find God. Every single moment of our day when we have to wait is a moment, an opportunity to remember to call upon God. Every moment when we wait for coffee to be brewed or for a brother or sister to answer a phone call or any other daily occurrence of waiting, these are the moments when we can choose to think of God. These moments of our day are when God will literally stop us and stop us in our cycles of thinking and moving in order to reconnect to him. Now these moments can be painful. Reconnecting with God in the waiting reality of our lives can cause us to weep and grieve. But the great news for Christians is that if we choose to remember God in our waiting, then our weeping and our grief will always, always become joy. Maybe not immediately, maybe not on our own schedule. Maybe we will have to wait in God a little while longer. But God has promised to bring us joy, and God will do it. So ask yourself not, what is the point of waiting? But ask yourself, who are you waiting for? <laughs>